Welcome back. Well, after a rough April, hedge funds rebounded in May, rising an average of 1.3 percent. Many market watchers have been worried about hedge fund losses after GM and Ford's first hint of troubles in terms of their debt ratings in March. Joining us now to talk about the May hedge fund data is Charles Grandante of the Hennessy Group. Charles, it's always a pleasure. Thank you. Hello, All right, let's start with what you saw in May, a little bit of a rise, reversing pretty much the losses we saw in April. April. Yeah, long short equity uh, <clears throat> did very well. Uh, those managers were up 2% for the month. Uh, our conversations with them indicate that uh, f the market was more fundamentally driven than momentum driven, and um, they made money on both the long and, and, and short side. What about in terms of, uh, you're talking about long shorts doing well, right. but in terms of other styles that did particularly yeah, uh, well or in terms of sectors? Yeah, arbitrage uh, strategies were flat. Um, convertible uh, bond arbitrage still is, is um, um, having a big sell-off. They've had a negative month every month this year. They've been down. Um, uh, high yield did, did pretty well because um, credit spreads came in from 4% over tre uh, treasuries down to 3.5% over treasuries. Uh, macro managers uh, also did well. They were up 2%. Um, they were short the euro and long um, equities globally with a focus on, on the U.S. All right, a few points I'd like to talk about then coming out of that, if I may. First, let's just start a little bit more broadly with fixed income, yeah. especially because in April we kept hearing, and it caused a lot of downdrafts in the markets for a few days, about a lot of hedge funds losing money on credit derivatives, for example, linked to General Motors Correct. on the back of their downgrade. Is that issue behind us? I think most of that issue is behind us, yes, especially with GM and, and, and Ford. But there is concern, uh, like in the high yield market, where credit spreads are very narrow, that at some point in time they're going to widen. Remember, uh, high yield spreads have come from 1,000 points, uh, basis points, above treasuries down to 350 basis points. So at some point in time, we're going to go back to uh, 700, 800 points above treasuries. And when that happens, uh, there's going to be um, um, some, some heavy losses taken there. Hasn't happened yet, but, but it, it, you know, people are positioning themselves to, to, to defend against that. What about credit derivatives more broadly? And, and you and I were talking during commercial about recent comments from Alan Greenspan, the Fed chairman, uh, about credit derivatives and perhaps uh, some bank institutions as well as hedge funds uh, playing a little bit too heavily there. Well, Greenspan, is, uh, he, he commented two evenings ago um, uh, that, that um, hedge funds in an attempt to, to generate higher returns are using esoteric uh, derivatives that have really not been tested in the marketplace in terms of liquidity and, 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 and efficient price. Um, but um, as important as that comment he made to hedge funds uh, and investors in hedge funds is the, is the comment he made about the banking system that they should be uh, concerned about their extension of credit to hedge funds and they issue these derivatives so he's really pointing the finger at the banking system also and saying uh, you know be careful what derivatives you're issuing and understand what you're doing uh, and I think he's he's uh, concerned about um, uh, pockets of the industry that may um, um, have difficulties similar to long-term capital. And, and do you think, we, I mean, we've got 8,000 funds out there, plus or minus right. hedge funds, a trillion dollars. That value is surged. A number of people in that industry is surged. Do you think we have a real risk of any sort of a systemic problem, particularly linked to credit derivatives? No, the, the, uh, I don't think there's a long-term capital out there, but there may be 25 or 30 managers doing the same thing, especially in the credit a derivative area and the sum total of their activities could result uh, in a problem in the marketplace. Uh, mm -hmm. The key here is the banks have to understand the, their credits and understand what the managers are doing. All right. Well, next time we'll have to talk about what all this means for fees, but that will have to come at another time. Thank you, Charles. Thank you, Ellen. All right. And that's Charles Gridante of the Hennessy Group talking to